temperature target enshrined in the Paris Agreement aims to limit global warming well below 2 degrees, preferably to 1.5 degrees Celsius, compared to pre-industrial levels. 1.5 degrees Celsius is the difference between the Earth's average temperature in the late 1800s and average temperatures today. Crossing this limit would cause irreversible damage to the plant's fragile ecosystems and unleash harsh impacts on human, plant and animal life. World Meteorological Organization WMO, has predicted that there is a 48% chance that global near-surface temperatures may exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels in the next five years, that is by 2026. A single year of exceedance above 1.5 degrees Celsius does not mean we have breached the iconic threshold of the Paris Agreement. But it does reveal that we are edging ever closer to a situation where 1.5 degrees Celsius could be exceeded for an extended period. As of 2021, the world had warmed by 1.1 degrees Celsius compared to the pre-industrial period, according to the sixth assessment report published by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC. The probability of breaching 1.5 degrees Celsius was close to zero back in 2015, when the Paris Agreement was adopted. But it has risen steadily since then to 50% now, according to the WMO. This has been attributed to the rising accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, caused entirely by human activities like the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. Atmospheric carbon dioxide CO2 concentrations reached 419 parts per million this month. The level deemed safe by scientists was 350 parts per million, which was last observed in the late 1980s. Additionally, Arctic warming is disproportionately high. The Arctic temperature anomaly compared to the 1991 to 2020 average is predicted to be more than three times as large as the global mean anomaly when averaged over the next five northern hemisphere extended winters. The impacts of Arctic warming are already being observed. The recent heat wave across India and Pakistan was partially attributed to the warming Arctic interacting with a persistent La Nina pressure pattern. This caused temperatures to soar unseasonably early in the year in more than 15 Indian states. For the rest of 2022, however, the report states that Alaska, Western Canada and India are likely to be cooler.